Hello ducklings, how are you? This week we are going to look at a different kind of book. It's not a story, it's a book that is all about real facts. Okay, so it's called a non-fiction book. So the book we're going to look at is called On the Farm. And you can probably guess from the cover that we're going to be talking about animals this week. Should we have a look inside? It says, have you ever visited a farm? Most farm animals are kept because they provide milk, eggs and meat. Some are kept as family pets. Farmers have to work very hard. Every day they feed all the animals and make sure they have water to drink. The cows have to be milked and eggs collected from the hen house. Would you like to be a farmer? Let's see who the first animal is. It's pigs. Pigs like to roll in the mud to keep cool. Their skin is delicate and they can get sunburned. Pigs will eat almost anything. Many fit pigs are fed on household scraps. Pigs can't see very well with their small eyes. They have a big snout and a good sense of smell. Pigs are very intelligent. Some people even keep them as pets. Pigs like to scratch their backs against trees or fences. Goats. Here's a goat. Look at that. Most goats have horns. The male goat or billy goat has a beard. Goats are very good at climbing. They often graze on steep hillsides. Goats are kept for their milk. It has a stronger taste than cow's milk. Angora and Kashmir goats have long, soft hair, which can be used for making clothes. Female or nanny goats have two or three babies at once. Baby goats are called kids. <gasps> Who's coming next? Shall I give you a clue? Bah! That's right, it's sheep. Sheep are covered in thick, soft wool. We can use this wool to make clothes. We can also use milk from sheep to make delicious cheese. Male sheep are called rams. Most rams have long, curved horns. Sheep are kept in large fields. They eat the fresh green grass. During cold weather, farmers feed their sheep on grain and hay. Lambs are born in the spring. They stay close to their mothers. <gasps> chickens. Baby chickens are called chicks. They begin life inside an egg. When they hatch, they are covered in soft yellow feathers called down. Chickens have a fleshy comb on top of their heads. They also have a wattle that hangs below the beak. Chickens can lay an egg every day. Only a few pro eggs produce chicks. The rest are good to eat. Chickens have wings, but they can only fly short distances. They sometimes fly up into trees to perch on the branches. cat there. Farmers often keep cats to get rid of rats and mice which live in their barns and eat the crops. Mother cats give birth to their kittens in a quiet corner of the farm. The kittens learn to hunt by copying what their, mothers do, what their mother does. Cats like to sit on top of walls and rooftops so they can see what is going on. Some farm cats might be quite wild and stay away from people. Others make really good pets and enjoy the warmth of the farm kitchen. <gasps> Here comes my favourite. My favourite is the cows. Cows are very useful animals. We can make cheese, butter and cream from their milk. Cows usually give birth to one calf every year. The young calves feed on milk which they suck from their mother's udder. 
Cows use their long tails to shoo away the insects. Bulls have large horns and are much bigger than cows. Ooh, ducks. Now I think you know what baby ducks are called, don't you? Ducks have webbed feet, which they use like paddles to help them swim. Ducklings can swim as soon as they are born. They follow their mother into the water. Ducks like to swim on ponds or streams. They dive down to pick food off the bottom and their tail feathers stick up in the air. Ducks have soft feathers which can be used for filling pillows and quilts. Oh, look at this chappy here. It's a donkey. Donkeys have large heads and long ears. They have short manes and a tuft of hair at the end of their tails. Donkeys are related to horses, but they are smaller and sturdier. They are happy to share a field. Because donkeys are strong, they can carry heavy loads over rough ground. A mule is a cross between a horse and a donkey. Mules are very sure-footed, but they can be very stubborn if they are not well treated. The last one. Woof woof. Here's a dog. Look at him. Wow. Sheep dogs help farmers herd their flocks of sheep. Their dogs are trained not to hurt the sheep. There are lots of different types of sheep dog. All of them have thick fur to keep them warm in the snow. In some countries, farmers keep dogs to protect their sheep from wild animals such as foxes. Most farm dogs live outside in kennels but some are family pets. The end of the book. But at the very end, there's a farm quiz. Shall I read you the questions and then you can see if you can answer them? One first question is, why do farmers keep chickens? Another one, what are baby goats called? Mm. How do cats make themselves useful on the farm? What does a cow do with its tail? What do sheep eat in the winter? What can dogs be trained to do? What do pigs do if they get an itch? And have you ever watched ducks on a pond? How do they find their food? I wonder if you can remember the answers to all those questions. There was lots of them, wasn't there? And I wonder which one is your favourite animal? Maybe you could draw me a picture of your favourite farm animal. And maybe it's baby too. I really look forward to seeing your pictures. See you again soon, ducklings. Bye.